Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's preview, as Cardiff take on the Stormers in one of the two matches involving South African sides, still going ahead this weekend. Sharks versus Ulster, Lions versus Glasgow Warriors have both been called off due to a gastro infection, both the Ulster as well as the uh, Glasgow Warriors camp as a result of the water down in Durban. However, there will be action in Cardiff, a record breaking night for France Moherber, um, as well as a very big night for Christian Dacey. Big milestones for those two players. And a very important match for both sides. Storm is looking to sign off um, with a with a victory on tour. Uh, and also looking to try and keep their, their undefeated streak going. They've yet to lose a match this season. Three wins and a draw in their four, first four games. Whilst Cardiff are three wins and two losses in their first five games. Sitting in eighth place. Joint on points with Cardiff. So they'll need a win to try and keep themselves in that top eight. And... Uh, uh, it all should be a very interesting clash. Before we look at two sides, please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. This is our Cardiff do lined up. Reese Kerr has got a big point to prove this weekend after being left out of the Welsh squad. Uh, he's next to Christian Dace, who will be making his 150th appearance for the club. Dylan Lewis at tight head. Josh Turnbull will then captain the side from the second row next to Roy Thornton. Your loose trip, Cardiff, will be Shane Lewis Hughes, Thomas Young, and James Ratty. Thomas Williams partners Reese Priestland in the halfback combination. Your two wings are Theo Kabanga and Jason Harris. In the centres, you have Ulis Halaholo and Max Llewellyn. And then Ben Thomas at fullback. Off the bench, um, from the men from the Welsh capital, it is Kirby Maho, uh, Corey Domachowski, Dimitri Arup, uh, Matthew Screech, Lepetri Tamani, James Botham, Lloyd Williams, and Mason Brady. For your Stormers side, it's an all Springbok front row. Stephen Kitzel, Joe Stewart, France Moherber. France Moherber would become the most capped Stormer ever as he moves past the legendary Scout Berger and one away from Stephen Kitsop with 124 appearances for the Stormers. And the fact that Kitsop's still there for another season is that I reckon these two could potentially be trading that record uh, over the rest, course of the rest season. But France Moherber, what a player uh, he has been for the Stormers. An absolute stalwart, uh, 124 matches, nothing to be uh, turning your nose up against and, and really is very much cult status within the, the, the Western Cape. The second row, you've got RJ Smith, Marvin Ori, no Sal Murat, which means that Ernst van Rijn will captain the side. He's into the loose trio next to Namakaba, and Hachiba Diamani shifts to a no Evan Ruiz this weekend. Um, so a, a big blow there for uh, um, the Stormers there, but I think a lot of rotation at the moment. Uh, those two players will be involved in the Streamlock um, training camp. Oh, oh, well, sorry, Sal Murat will be involved in the Streamlock training camp. No Evan Ruiz in the training camp, so it's not like he has to get back for anything. Um, but you then got Gondam similar and Mike Liebach as your halfback combination. Leon Zass, Cinnamon Hartsenberg, the two wings. Your centers are Dan Duplessis and Alapati Naua. Um, and then you've got Clayton Blomakis at full back. Off the bench from the men from the Cape. It's JJ Kotzer, Quenzo Blosser, Brock Harris. Um, and, and, and I think that Stormers reserve front row have really struggled so far in the, um, in, in the URC. So Quenzo Blosser, Brock Harris, JJ Kotzer will need to bring the heat when they come on because... Um, without Stephen Kitts of France, Mohoba, the Stormers scrum have been very poor. And it can't be a case of those two, those three are absolutely fine. And then the replacements come on, it all kind of falls apart again. They need someone to really sort of grab the game with a scrub of the neck and, and, and man up when it comes to scrum time. Uh, ben J. Dixon, Billy Engelbrecht, Junior Pacamela are the three forwards in a 6 2 split. Paul DeVette and Sasha and Gomazulu, uh, the two suspects on the bench for the back line replacements. It's a very good Stormers side, and they've got to try, to try and start, uh, sign off this tour with a win. Uh, if they can go come with a win, uh, and, you know, heading to next weekend with 21, 22 points on the board after just sort of uh, five games, they were sitting pretty pretty. At the moment, they are sitting six points off the top of Leinster uh, with the game in hand. So, you know, Leinster playing against uh, Connacht this weekend, sorry, Leinster playing against Munster this weekend, uh, should be a very big clash there. So Stormers need to keep picking up points, and they'll find themselves in the top four uh, come the end of the season. And after that, who knows, they get themselves into a home final, home semi-final situation, and we've seen the story before. For Cardiff, though, it's not an opportunity for them. They're at home. They're not playing bad rugby at the moment. Um, no foul tile is a big blow to them, but uh, plenty of good players across that 15. Uh, and I think they're going to have to have a go. Have a go. You know, invite the Stormers, the current champions, into your home. Make it comfortable for them. Try and win. Try and put yourselves on the map. Um, but let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.